Uh, all right, so my name is Lisa. Uh, my family consists of my boyfriend, Ryan, uh, and my daughter, Hazel, who will be three and a half um, next month. And just us, our happy little family. I started climbing back in about 2009, so I'm on about year 12 now. Um, started off in the gym, like most people do, and then uh, was quickly introduced to outdoor climbing. Um, it did not go well <laughs> the first time I went out doing trad climbing, and I was pretty much ready to give all my gear away. Um, but with the support of some friends, you know, worked through that, and I really enjoyed trad climbing. That is my jam. It's where I like to be, what I like to do. Um, and you know, I, I climb in the gym to train to go outside, so, but I've been loving it, I've been doing it for a long time now. Alpine was sort of just this opportunity that came up. Um, I was living a pretty good distance away from uh, my home climbing gym that I was at before. I watched this place being built from the ground up because I was driving by it uh, almost every day. So I was just waiting in anticipation for Alpine to open up. Um, and when they did, we were in the first week uh, taking our tour, getting Hazel in here to look at it. And once we, uh, the first time we came in, we bought our memberships and haven't left. So <laughs> there are many things actually I like about Alpine, but I can say that the, the most, the, the best thing I like about Alpine truly is the community. Um, coming in here, it was a really neat feeling for the employees and the owners to ask us our names and get to know us. And when we walk in the doors, it's like, hey Lisa, how's it going? You know, and so making an effort to get to know everybody here, um, it feels like home. And because climbing is such a big part of my life, it, it really is where I want to be and the people I want to be around. Um, the feeling of being here is, is like nothing else. Uh, Alpine also has a lot to offer. It has kind of everything all in one. So, you know, you can boulder, I can climb, I can do ropes, I can lead, I can get Hazel in here in the Adventure Center. And so, uh, you know, the, the equipment upstairs, the cardio, like it's just kind of all here and it's great to have it close to home. The hours are awesome, people are awesome. And so just, I'm here sometimes multiple times a day. Uh, climbing has changed my, it's, I can't say climbing has changed my life. Climbing is my life. But once I got into climbing, I, I describe it as it's not a hobby. Climbing is a lifestyle. So I eat, breathe, live climbing. It's like everything I do somehow revolves around, is it gonna help my climbing? Is it gonna hinder my climbing? You know, in some way it's revolved around climbing. Um, it has been just, I, I guess in an extent, in a, an obsession. I even climbed when I was pregnant with Hazel. I climbed until I was seven months pregnant and I couldn't lift my legs up high enough to you know, make a move and it was uncomfortable. Uh, and then I was climbing three months after she was born. So it was just you know, a little hiccup in there as far as climbing goes, but I, I don't know, it, it is my lifestyle. I, I identify as a climber. For new climbers or anyone interested in getting better, my advice is just climb more. Get on the walls, spend time on a route, you know, just more wall time. Also to, to find people who, who have experience and um, put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to ask somebody, you know, for advice or just say hey to people. Like, it's a very friendly place here and I hope I'm an approachable person. So if you see me, come up and talk to me. Uh, I love teach. I'm a teacher actually by profession. So <laughs> kind of in me to help educate people, um, especially people with the same passion as me. So yeah, wall time uh, and ask questions and just get to know people.